Hey guys, look at these early Jersey Wakefield cabbages. It has been 90 days since I started them from transplants. February 10, it was still cold. Now it's May 10. It's really warm here and they are ready. So I experimented one in ground, one in a pot, one in a raised bed. What's the best? Let's find out. Welcome to Garden on a Hill where we talk about easy home gardening, where I share what I've learned throughout my gardening. And my name is Ben, so let's take a look at these early Jersey Wakefield cabbages. So let's talk about the results first before I share my growing guide. And when I started this process for all the three different conditions, I want to make sure I have as much constants as possible. So I started with them with the same soil, fertilizer, and watering throughout its lifetime. So now the results. One in the ground, it currently has about a seven inch high fruit six inches wide which is the typical description for early jersey wakefield cabbage so it grew perfectly the way it is uh, it did not start as fast as these two so this was lagging behind when it started as a seedling the second one in the transplant started very well as a seedling currently it has about a five inch by five inch head so it did not really live up to its expectations it actually started very big and then it stunted towards the end as the weather changed and i i think it's mostly because of the watering in the space of the pot this is about a seven gallon ceramic pot i suggest if you do want to grow cabbage in a pot it is possible you may need a better or bigger pot and also you have to water it more because this tends to dry out. If you will notice, these two actually have a different tint of green than this one. This one kind of has a blue green. These two have that lighter, healthy green color. So, you know, unfortunately we fertilize it the same way. I watered it more towards the end, but it didn't catch up to where these two need to be. Now the third one would be my preference and this is on a raised bed. It has about a nine inch high, about 10 inch high fruit, nine to 10 I would say, and it's about seven inches wide. There's actually one bigger right next to this, which I'm gonna turn to later. But this also started slow, the same as the in-ground one. This was leading the pack, but then towards the end, it just started to cabbage and grow its head. So, I'm gonna pan to the right and you can see how much bigger the other one is. That one is much bigger, around 10 to 11 inches. And the other ones to the right of it are actually much smaller, but they are taller. And I'm gonna share to you why that happened. This gives you a better view on what I'm talking about. As you can see on this end is the big fruit, I should say big head, another big head and then it slowly goes higher here it is because the sun starts to cast its light here and then go in this way so this starts to reach out for the sun that's why it's getting taller it will get a big head later on uh, but these two had a jump start just because of the sun so let's go ahead and harvest these Quickly, so how did I grow this? As you know, everyone from the south will tell you not to plant brassicas in the spring. We typically plant these in fall just because our weather changes so quickly. Right now it's May and we're in the 80s, so these are ready. Um, basically the secret is rich soil, rich and moist soil. So when I started this, I made sure I have the right supplements. I added vermiculites, compost, mulch in this bed and kept watering it make sure you space them at least, at the very least, 18 inches apart and keep that um, soil always moist and you will have great success because all of this did not bolt. That's what I followed. I fertilize bi-weekly with a soluble fertilizer. You can use your fish emulsion. You can use your 10-10-10 
water soluble they like nitrogen so feed them bi-weekly and then supplement and side dress with a lot of fertilizer and you will get this anyway let's cut to the chase 90 days it's been the longest ever vegetable i've grown so let's harvest these let's cut it at the bottom Oof. okay that is huge look at that big it's actually starting to crack i think there's something in it maybe a cabbage worm that's one this one is a bigger one Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That is, that is crazy. Let me take these out. There's slugs in here. And you will have pill bugs and slugs that will eat the cabbage. You just make sure you manage that and you should be fine. All right, so that is it. And let me take this up. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. So now you know how I grow my big, beautiful early Jersey Wakefield cabbages in the spring. Hopefully you can try this too. Hopefully yours doesn't bolt because that's usually a problem. If you like seeing my videos, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and hit that bell button so anytime I post something new, you get notified so you can see more of these. I'm actually going to cook this now and make a um, somewhat Filipino dish for it, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye!